Alrighty, everyone. Welcome back to Panther Gymnasium. After that double overtime thriller win by the Lady Panthers of Magnet Cove, we got Kaiser Kidder and Keyshawn Gilchrist to tip it off here for the Red Devils and Panthers. Finale, the senior boys. And Kaiser gets the tip, but number three, Jaden Walker's going to come down with it. Looking to move fast and lays it a, in. That's mm, number two, Keelan that a, Dobbins. That was a good shot. That was a great layup. Panthers looking to slow it down here. I can tell this game is either going to be fast or slow right off the, right off the tip. Pull up jumper, no good there. And that's going to be Gilcrest with the rebound. Going to push it up the floor to Dobbins. Dobbins got three people on him going to try to drive. Shot no good there. And that's going to be off of Alex Edwards. Alex Edwards there. He is starting uh, tonight. And Inslee is not starting tonight. Kaiser gets the steal, though, right there. And here comes Clawson on the other end. Going to kick it up. Bassler thought about the three. Now going to drive. Pull up shot again. That one no good there. And number 23 is right there. That's going to be Miguel, uh, excuse me, Zion Wyatt. Down on the other end is Dobbins going up. No good there. Gilcrest with the re rebound shot. No good there. As Baker comes away with it, as Wyatt tries to bounce it back in. Clawson on the other end to Edwards, and Edwards lost it. It's going to be number three, Jaden Walker, to bring it up the floor pretty fast. Going to push it up the floor. And Dobbins for three, and no good. Rebound by Clawson. Dobbins looks like to be the guy they're going to run their offense through. Yeah, most definitely. Edwards at the top of the key. Bachelor inside to Baker. Baker goes up and in. <laughs> and Baker ties this game up here for the Panthers. Two to two with 6-17 and counting left to go in the game. I mean, in the first quarter. The student section is rowdy tonight. Shot no good there. Tip, Bassler comes away with the rebound. He's going to heave it up the floor. And it's, ooh, stolen. Almost stepped out of bounds there. That is number one right there. J J Isaiah Miles and Baker comes away with the turnover right there. Clawson pushing it up the floor. Bassler lost it. And that's going to be... Uh, Mountain Pine basketball. Watch Walker, turnovers, no fouls. Yeah, Walker to inbound. Dobbins going to push it up the floor fast. What? Wow, what a layup. Yep. He attempted that. Looked like he was about to windmill that. He got up there. Yeah, Dobbins going to go to the line here. First shot is good. Dobbins' second shot is up and it's good and extends the lead to two here for the Mountain Pine Red Devils. I just know he's a lefty shooter too. Dobbins? Yeah, you don't see that a lot. Uh, not in basketball anyway. No. It's like left-handed fishing reels. You can't ever find them. Oh, and that slipped off Kaiser's hands there and gets in number 34, Gilcrest, as the Red Devils look to push here. Trying to work that perimeter inside. Going to kick it back out. Three ball, no way good by Isaiah Miles. Ain't. Keelan Dobbins is actually a running back also for Mountain Pines eight-man team. Jacob needs help, and we've got a jump ball call, and that's going to be going towards Magnet Cove. Eight-man football is just a little weird, though. That's the thing. It's kind of cool, though. Have you it ever watched it? I mean, I've seen it, but, like, it's different. Because, like, yeah, I mean, you don't it's have different. offensive line. 
you do, but it's like three people or four people max. Well, when you look at but it, yeah, eight man, you have to have a quarterback, running back, receiver. Yeah, so there's three. And then you need a tight, most likely a tight end. And then there's four offensive linemen and a tight end. So it makes sense. Three ball from Clawson on this end, no good. Rebound by Dobbins. He is fast. And, and there's he a lays layup. it in. He is their offense. All six points for him tonight. And Coach Will is very agitated, but we will take a break here as they take a timeout with 429 left to go in this first quarter. We'll be right back with the last 430 in the first quarter after this break. All right, everyone. Well, welcome back to Panther Gymnasium here as Edwards inbounds the ball. Going to push it up the floor to Kaiser. Kaiser looking for somewhere to go. Gets it to Edwards. Kind of discombobulated offensive look here. Oh, what a lay-in by Bachelor. Bachelor has had some injury problems this season. Yeah, that knee has been hurting him. You can see the brace on his knee. Shot no good there, and that's going to be off of a Red Devil, so it's going to be Magnet Cove basketball here. The Panthers have had a rough little season. They've had um, yes. adjusting without some of their players from last year. The run to the and state title game. It Bachelor being injured. And oh, and a steal by Dobbins. Can he dunk it? He tried. He thought about it. He thought about it. He had Edwards right there on him. If he was, if he was by himself, I bet he probably would have. Yeah. Said. Bachelor looking behind him. Oh, that's some handles right there, dude. That's a save handles right there. It took a second. Man. Big oh! And Baker draws the foul. It's like trying to fight through a brick wall right there with uh, number 23. Trying to fight a brick wall. Yeah, number 23 was right there. Zion Wyatt and Gilchrist were both there. I will say, Baker will push you through if you are in his way. The rest would let them play, did they? Yeah, first dominate. shot is up and good, and that ex uh, limits the deficit to three. Baker's got some really good body control for someone his size. You don't see yeah. that with most big men like that. He's a, he's a really good shooter for 6-7. Yeah. The taller you go, the harder it is to shoot. And Alex Edwards yeah. with the steal. And the shot, no good. Jaminy Christmas got to make that. He had a wide open jump shot. Oh! Baker out, took one to the face. Out there with that goaltending right there for Kaiser. Man, it's going to be a hoopty dooty jumpity who can jump farther and faster game. It's going to be a game of athleticism right now. Yeah. Dobbins here at the free throw line. Dobbins' first shot is up and good. It extends the lead to three. Second shot is up and is also good. It extends the lead to four here for the Red Devils. One catch right there, bro. He was. He got up there. Any Inside that Carson Reynolds has checked in. Bassler for three, and that looks short off his hands. And that's number three, Walker trying to go all the way. No shot, no good there. Scuffle for the ball, and he will be fouled. And Bo is on the ground, and he's slow to get up, kind of limping on that knee. Got to watch that. If Oh, that is two fouls. And not oh, what you want to see if your coach will. Bo was just a little upset that he couldn't get that block or steal. Obviously First shot is up and no good there by Jaden Walker. Obviously he's favoring that knee, but. Yeah. Let's 
Second shot is up and is no good. Rebound there by Clawson. Jacob going to push it up the floor to Batchelor. Oh, and that's just a big bit of uh, miscommunication right there. Uh, not much you can really do about that. No. Both thought his teammate was going to stop, and he didn't. Yeah, intended pass was intended for Kaiser. Inside and ball shots no good there, and that's going to be off of a Panther. They inbounded here, working the perimeter there with Miles and Walker. Ball is tipped, and Carson Reynolds comes away with it. This game is uh, a little scratchy. more interesting in in the yeah. first yeah. half so yeah. far than this. Senior girls was kind of a scrappy game. And I will say that senior girls uh, game. I don't know if you could top that senior girls game at the end, but I don't know. Both thought about the three inside to Baker. Baker! Oh, what a dish! Three ball and good. The dish, the pull up three. Carson Reynolds, the senior, coming up clutch, right there to draw the deficit within one. What a dish there by Baker, Aiden. Carson. Yeah, it was a great pass, but Carson is one of the uh, better shooters on this team. When Carson gets a chance, he'll, he'll let it fly, and he's one of the – if he gets hot, he is hot. Yeah. And he'll sit hot for days. His hot streak. Zion Wyatt minutes. there on the other end with the no-good shot there as the Panthers bringing the ball down. And his hot streaks don't last minutes or games. They last days. Bachelor looking on this other end. He's got – Walker on him, going to kick it over. Clawson inside to Baker. Baker got a man all over him, but he still enforces his will right there. Gets the Panthers a lead, 11 to 10, with 1-11 left to go in this first quarter. Panthers setting up the 2-3 zone. Three from Dobbins, no good. Oh! Baker with the block. Rejected was Jaden Walker. Most of the time that happened. Whoa, a that yeet down the floor and a little too much on it. Yeah, back to Baker's block. Most of the time that happens, that was called foul. Yeah, that was all <laughs> ball, bro. That was all ball. Well, most of the time they are. Yeah. But the, the refs just uh, think because how big Baker is, it's there's always some little bit of contact there. Baker gets up there and he will block anybody if he gets the chance. He will send your stuff to the fifth row. Dobbins here. Three ball miles and good. That was a really good shot. 11-13 right now. 25 seconds left, no shot clock. See if the Panthers can take the lead here with a three on this last possession or tie it with a two. Out. Clawson drives. And they get the foul. Oh, shot does wanted, not roll though. He wanted that three point play, couldn't get it. They go to the line for two. If he can make both of these, the game will be tied 13-13 going into the second quarter. That's going to be a foul on number 32 who has checked in, Miguel Honey. Jacob's first shot is up and no good. And number three is going to check out. That's Jaden Walker. Number 24 is going to check in. Adonius Delaney. Shot no good there. Miguel on a rebound. Clawson makes neither. And he, and he runs and falls. Two seconds. Clawson. He! Oh, just off the back of the iron there. But it's in the first quarter. Panthers down two. We'll be back with the second quarter of action right after this.
Alrighty, everyone. Welcome back to Panther Gymnasium for the second quarter of action of the finale of the night, the senior boys game. Now we got a two-point game here. And it is going to be Mountain Pine with possession here. That's number one, Isaiah Miles. Number 24 is going to go up with a shot. No good. That's Delaney. And I noticed that Tony checked in. Yeah, number 10. Golden leg, as Coach Carmichael calls him. Whoop. They call the travel there as Clawson goes up in the lane. I didn't see it. We're commentators, not refs, so unfortunately. I can still have an opinion. Yes, we can still have an opinion, but. My opinion just doesn't affect anybody. Yeah, exactly. Mountain Pine on the other end, trying to feed it inside. Now Dobbins going to go up. And what a crafty move. Panthers are having trouble with him early. Bo looking to drive. Going to kick Ops. it. Tony. Clawson for three. Elbow. And a foul. So that would be a three-point. Three, three, three shot three. throws. That's number 24, Delaney, who had checked in late in the first quarter. First shot is up and is no good there by Jacob. Jacob's second shot right here is up and is good that time. Second, third shot is up and good. So Jacob gets two of the three right there. Here's Mountain Pine on the other end. Looking to get something going. That's Delaney with the ball right there. Kaiser on the ball defense. Dobbins looking to drive baseline. Uh, jumps way up. Shot no good there. And number 32 right there. Almost got the ball from Baker. And Clawson comes away with it. Scuffle for the ball as Clawson sets it back up. Now Bo's got Dobbins on him. Tony looking for somewhere to go. He's got Delaney on him. Clawson thought about the three, now gonna drive. And a, oh, hard hit. Clawson is really good at drawing fouls. Yeah, Clawson, he's quarterback. He felt like he got hit by an outside linebacker right there. Looks like he took a sack. That's more like you're running one of that QB power and then you just get oh, that, right. Those read know. options, the Yeah, those RPOs. read options, you get drilled by the outside linebacker. Three ball for Bassler, and mm, just off you, the mark. You miss Kaiser. Hey, you miss read a read option, you'll get hit hard. You get roasted. Jacob was calling for the ball inside. Roasted and toasted. And the shot is no good there. Here comes Mountain Pine. Up two here at Panther Gymnasium with 16 and counting left to go in the second quarter. Three ball from Miles, no good. And the student section is letting him know about that one. Here's Tony on the other end. Feeding inside to Bo, Bo. Gets it to Baker, Baker's like, I'll take it! And we have a foul call, and Baker's drawing fouls like a magnet to screws. Paper clips to a magnet. Dude, it's crazy. Paper clips to a magnet for him and Clawson. I know, right? Drawing all those fouls. You know those things, like, I know they got them at oh, tractors. Oh, you know those science experiments when you grab a magnet and you run it over dirt and you pull up all the iron? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know those things, like, that you can buy that you, like, roll on the ground? Yeah, that rolly thing is Jacob and Baker, <laughs> and then all the things on the floor you pick up is the fouls because they have drawn Mountain Pine sitting at five fouls right now. It's the first half. Yeah. And number 24 has checked in. Uh, excuse me, 21 right there. That is uh, 
Judah Garcia. So let's see here how they operate that offense with him on the floor. They get it over to him. Three ball from Dobbins and good. Dobbins is potent with he with the hands in with the ball in his hands. Jacob is definitely a floor general right here. Thought about the pull up. Three. That's why he's one of the best point guards. Three ball for Clawson and good. That's another reason why he's one of the best yeah. point guards. I got plenty of them. He has really had to step up this year, not having Tillery and Ashcraft to shoot threes. They get it over. Thought about the three ball. Now going to drive. Now going to dish it. Pull that's up a, shot. Good there. That's number 32. That's another reason why last year they went to the state title game. They had yeah. Tillery, Ashcraft, Clawson. They had so many guys who could just pull up from deep. Yeah. And with ease. Like Tony for three. And just off the mark there, fight, and Dobbins comes away with the rebound. Like last year they had Ashcraft, Tillery, Claus. Garcia on the other end and lays it in. Baker. Oh, yeah, they had scores last year. And Dunkers, Beckwith, like, it was crazy. Jace. Jace was a yeah. decent. Carson. Carson's a really good yeah. shooter. Alex. Time All these guys. out on the floor. Five-point game here at Panther Gymnasium after that Garcia lay-in. We'll be right back for Panther basketball after this timeout. All right, everyone, welcome back. We've got 422 and counting left to go as the ball's inbounded here at Panther Gymnasium. Panthers have possession. Both thought about the three. Clawson thought about the pull-up. Now going to kick it back out. Bassler for three. And ooh, just off the mark. Baker gets it. And he was like, I wanted the Falcon showing the 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 uh, ref the hand, and they're kind of laughing about it now. Trying to get it into him. They trying to work the perimeter here. Inside to Kidder. Kidder, the other big man, up. No good. And Kidder's down on the ground. And I can literally hear the student section through my headset. You may be able to hear them. I don't know. I can hear them through my mic. So, Kaiser's going to go to the line here. The first shot is up and is good. Second shot is up and is also good. Draws the lead within three, or excuse me, the deficit. Magnet down by three, 19 to 22. Just over 350. Edwards, and they're gonna probably gonna call a foul on him right there. And Mountain Pine has got themselves a section going. Hey, that's our chant, homies. <laughs> so you can't do that chant started at Manic Oak High School. We all know that. Maybe um, not. I don't that's know about that one. Every I think my league. dad. I think my dad had that when he was in high school. Probably. And a traveling violation. That that short ref. He's got the fast traveling violation. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. His hands are like really fast. And our student section says, Edward. I'm louder and we're more present. Clawson for three. And just off the mark there. And who else but, Do uh, excuse me, that's not Dobbins. Uh, comes with three around. Three ball on the other end. No good there by Garcia. 
Panthers looking to move fast, got to be careful right here. Coach Will calls out the play here. Three minutes and counting left to go in the first half. Baker pull up three. And just off the back of the iron there, Bats are there with the rebound. Boston thought about the three, now gonna feed it inside to Baker. Baker up and in! Down one, 21-22. You feed the beast and he will produce. Feed that man, give him the ball. He is making a senior campaign that counts. Dobbins gonna drive, and it's stripped to the ball. The Panthers always do better when Baker has good nights. Oh, Clawson trying to cross him over, gonna take it all away. Two free throws for Clawson. Blocking yeah. foul on number 32. Yeah, number 32 right there. Wanted that uh, charge foul, it's Miguel right there. First one is up and is no good. All right, everyone, welcome back to Panther Gymnasium here. And so we'll have to see as Clawson goes to the line here. Shot no good there. They're gonna push it up the floor to Garcia. Mountain Pine likes to jump, dude. Three ball by Garcia, no good again. Garcia's 0 for 2 from beyond the arc. Here comes the Panthers. Bo trying to slow it down a little bit. Thought about the three, now gonna dish it to Clawson. Coming over. Panthers looking for something inside the Baker. Jiminy Christmas, he's got three people on him and he still scores. That's the Panthers' first lead of the game. Here comes Mountain Pine on the other end. And the ball is deflected by Baker. They get it out to Garcia. Here comes, oh! Jump ball. Jump ball, and that's gonna be Panther basketball. I don't know if that's a jump ball. I thought he traveled there, but the jump ball gives the Panthers possession no matter what, so that's good. Either way. Inside to Baker. Baker looking to get out of there. Whoa! He just heaves that one out of bounds. That man probably been five hundred. I don't know if that was intended or not, but I think there was confusion right there on who was going to get that, and that's well, what he, he threw it hard. He yeah, he was trying to get it across the court right there. You had to have hands of steel to catch that one. I personally wouldn't want to catch that. He cut a hole right through you. <laughs> Get a bullet like hole. Your hands, you put them together to catch it, and then you have no hands left. Oh, well, it'd be like if you got a bullet hole right there on the side. It'd just go right through you. <laughs> oh. All right, and Dobbins. Baker puts some heat. He needs to be a pitcher yeah. in baseball. But uh, Magnet's in the bonus now as Dobbins goes in line for Mountain Pine after that ba Caden Baker foul. First one is up and good by Dobbins.
Second one is up and is good for Dobbins also. Oh, we got a thread drill. Bo's gonna take it himself up. Oh, come on, Bo. Gotta make the shot. Heave down the court. And Mountain Pine jumps up there and gets that bucket to go up three. And a steal. Oh, Baker. it's Baker on Dobbins, and Dobbins lays in. Baker's like, I don't even want to go up there. Okay. Panthers Matt. up five. Uh, Panthers down five, going to put it up the court. To Reynolds. Reynolds up and gets the foul call. First shot is up and is good off the back glass. And we got another sophomore coming in, Zane Jeffers. And Baker's going to check out, give him a little breather. Carson's second shot is up, and that one is good off the back glass, too. Carson's going to check out, and Alex is going to check in. Down by three, 31 seconds left, no shot clock. See if Mountain Pine tries to take the last shot here in the half. I mean, if I'm them, I just hold it. Yeah, I hold it till like last second and then shoot. Last couple seconds and then shoot, so you have a chance to get a good shot, not just a, a lob. I heave, yeah, I, I get that. I set up something here now, right now, go. 10 seconds. Coach Will likes to set up stuff in 10 seconds. Inside, there it is right like there. Right there, last couple seconds. Half court heave, and just off the back glass there, and it's halftime here. Panthers down five. We'll be right back with the second half of the senior boys game. My daughters grew up coming into this gas station when they were younger. Um, Michaela, that's the co-owner, she graduated from Magnet, and so from kindergarten on through 12th grade, she, we would be in here every day getting a biscuit, or field trip day, you had to come in and get the sandwiches and the soda pops, and you know, Mr. Harkins would fix you up right, and so it was a must have, so we just always loved it, and you know, it was part of our family tradition, and so we just wanted to bring it on to the next round of kids. You know, we, of course, had to play homage to the Panthers across the street because they're such a huge part of this community. And then you can't pass by without seeing them. So it was Panther Pass, of course. And then the grocery and gas just kind of was very fitting and catchy and just went along well. A lot of people say that the hamburgers are, you know, kind of worth stopping for. But, um, you know, we, we have a pretty diverse little menu for a gas station. And, uh, you know, we've got kind of neat creations that you're not going to find anywhere else. You know, we've got the new Panther pile up, and that's kind of fun. And then we've got the, a huge burger on the menu, and a lot of people like to come in and try that. And then, you know, in the mornings, we have a pretty good little breakfast buffet on Fridays and stuff when school's in session. And so, you know, we have lots of yummy stuff, French toast and... Uh, bacon and sausage and eggs and biscuits and gravy and casserole and so a pretty good pretty good you know into your week start on your Friday so so just lots of little neat things we love to give back to the community so we always try to find a neat specials you know kind of some home cooking you know here in Malvern you don't get too many choices for home cooking so um, you know on our daily specials we try to go back, like we'll have the open roast beef sandwiches and mashed potatoes and gravy some weeks. We've done meatloaf. Um, coming up, since it's January and all of us want to be healthy, Michaela just came up with a taco salad that's pretty yummy. I have to say, I just had it for lunch myself to try it out. And so I believe next Tuesday is going to be Taco Salad Tuesday. So y'all tune in for that. Well, I love the mushroom Swiss burger, but I like to put the grilled onions on it. And then um, some of our patrons that come in, they will also add A1 steak sauce on top of it. I'm just telling y'all, if you hadn't tried it, you, uh, it, it's a must. You gotta try it out, it's really good. 
So we're trying to have once a month like a little community event. So in January, we're going to try, weather permitted, to do something fun here. We love to let the kids come in. We've we've talked to some of the local churches and stuff like that about maybe doing a breakfast for the community um, and just letting people come in and it's free of charge and, and have a breakfast on a Saturday morning or something. And so we've thought about things like that. Of course, um, when the weather gets nice again, we'll do our movie nights and we love to do that. Um, probably the spring, we'll have to have a little spring dance or something for the kids. Um, graduation we may put on something fun for graduation like an after graduation thing just something that the kids have somewhere to go that's safe and you know the families know that they're they're gonna be okay you know we're, we're gonna take care of them so um, you know we got lots of stuff in the woodwork but you know just some of it is weather permitting and then as we grow and be able to get utilize more space around here that'll also help with being able to do more stuff If you're looking for a hidden gem while traveling down Arkansas Highway 51, then Panther Pass Grocery and Gas is your one-stop destination. The Panther Pass is more than just your typical local grocery and gas station. It is also has a full cafe menu with delicious mouth-watering food that will satisfy any type of appetite. The Panther Pass is also a proud supporter of the Manic Cove School District and a community partner with the Manic Cove High School East. The Panther Pass is located at 2214 Highway 51, Magnet Cove, Arkansas. grew up coming in to this gas station when they were younger. Um, Michaela, that's the co-owner, she graduated from Magnet and so from kindergarten on through 12th grade she, we would be in here every day getting a biscuit or field trip day you had to come in and get the sandwiches and the soda pops and you know Mr. Harkins would fix you up right and so it was a must-have so we just always loved it and you know it was part of our family tradition and so we just wanted to bring it on to the next round of kids. You know, we of course had to pay homage to the Panthers across the street because they're such a huge part of this community and then you can't pass by without seeing them so it was Panther Pass of course and then the grocery and gas just kind of was very fitting and catchy and just went along well. A lot of people say that the hamburgers are you know kind of worth stopping for but um, you know we, we have a pretty diverse little menu for a gas station and uh, you know we've got kind of neat creations that you're not going to find anywhere else. You know we've got the new Panther pile up, and that's kind of fun. And then we've got the a huge burger on the menu, and a lot of people like to come in and try that. And then you know in the mornings we have a pretty good little bu breakfast buffet on Fridays and stuff when school's in session. And so you know we have lots of yummy stuff, French toast and. Uh, bacon and sausage and eggs and biscuits and gravy and casserole and so a pretty good pretty good you know into your week start on your Friday so so just lots of little neat things we love to give back to the community so we always try to find a neat specials you know kind of some home cooking you know here in Malvern you don't get too many choices for home cooking so um, you know on our daily specials we try to go back like we'll have the open roast beef sandwiches and mashed potatoes and gravy some weeks we've done meatloaf um, coming up since it's january and all of us want to be healthy michaela just came up with a taco salad that's pretty yummy i have to say i just had it for lunch myself to try it out and so i believe next tuesday is going to be taco salad tuesday so y'all tune in for that well i love the mushroom swiss burger but i like to put the grilled onions on it and then um, some of our patrons that come in, they will also add A1 steak sauce on top of it. I'm just telling y'all, if you hadn't tried it, you, uh, it, it's a must. You gotta try it out, it's really good. So we're trying to have once a month like a little community event. So in January, we're gonna try, weather permitted, to do something fun here. We love to let the kids come in. We've, we've talked to some of the local churches and stuff like that about maybe doing a breakfast for the community. Um, and just letting people come in and it's free of charge and, and have a breakfast on a Saturday morning or something. 
Um, so we've thought about things like that. Of course, um, when the weather gets nice again, we'll do our movie nights, and we love to do that. Um, probably the spring, we'll have to have a little spring dance or something for the kids. Um, graduation, we may put on something fun for graduation, like an after graduation thing. Just something that the kids have somewhere to go that's safe and you know the families know that they're they're going to be okay you know we're, we're going to take care of them so um you know we got lots of stuff in the woodwork but you know just some of it is weather preventing and then all right everyone welcome back to the panther gymnasium here with the second half of the senior boys game here we're about to get underway here mountain pine secures a five point lead going into the third quarter so we will have to see what happens here. And here we go, here comes the Panthers on the floor. Here comes the Panthers. The Panthers inbound the ball right here. Bo working it around, trying to find something. We are having some technical difficulties here at Panther Gymnasium. We had some during the senior girls game and unfortunately are having some more now. Uh, we will do what we can to bring you our the best action as Dobbins goes all the way down the floor with it. And a charge. Right there, uh, that was Edwards that took the, no, that's not gonna be a charge. Excuse me, that's gonna be a blocking foul on Edwards. That is Dobbins right there at the free throw line. He has been a productive force for the Red Devils tonight. And the shot is up and is good. And he made the bucket too, so that will extend the lead to eight. Batsler on the other end, up, shot no good there. And the Panthers come up empty handed on that possession. And Dobbins is stripped of the ball. Excuse me, that's not Dobbins. Excuse me there, that is number three. That looks to be, let's see here, number three is Jaden Walker. As we're trying to push it up before he gets it to Kaiser, and Dobbins is being really handsy in that corner. Edwards corner three and no good. Rebound by Clawson. Clawson goes up and shot no good there. That's number 34. Gilcrest on the rebound. Clawson goes up again and finally gets the foul call. First shot right here raised for Clawson. And it bounces off all the iron and bounces in. And without Inslee tonight, another senior in Alex Edwards has, has to step up and get some minutes as Clawson sinks the second one here. Uh, that shortens the, lead, the deficit to six. comes Mountain Pine on the other end as they are ready the offense gonna try to drive right here kick it out three ball and no good there by number three Walker Panthers looking to drive on the other end gonna kick it out very erratic passes by both teams oh and a still wrestle for the ball jump ball and that's gonna be my uh, excuse me Mountain Pine basketball there as that was Dobbins and Batchelor fighting for the ball. Both teams have had a really scrappy game 
Yeah, it's definitely been a scrappy game, Aiden. Baker's already at three fouls. And here, Mountain Pine looks to slow it down just a hair. Up six. Inside, what a move. We have resolved the technical difficulties thanks to our amazing tech team that's behind all this. So here we go as Bassler looks to thread it inside. Gonna have to kick it back out to Kaiser. Now looking inside to Baker. Baker's gonna drive the baseline, gonna go up and in. Feed the beast once more. Panthers draw the deficit back to six. Mountain Pine on the other end is slowing it down, um, unlike that first half there, Aiden. Yes, definitely. Uh, Mountain Pine had a really fast-paced first half with all the speed they have on offense, especially with number two down there. One of the fastest guys on the court. Yeah, and that, he had two shots at him turn, missed them both there in Dobbins. Alex gonna thread it. Alex down low up and in. Down by four, cuts the deficit. Yeah, they have really cut that deficit down, and they've got to get a defense, another defensive stop here on the other end and score. Well, the deficit hasn't really ever been bigger than like seven or eight. No, but but unlike the girls' game, who they were down twenty-three in yeah. the second quarter at one point, and then came back and won in double overtime. Shot good there, contested shot there that was by a really good shot. Miles pulled up there from about the charity stripe, gonna thread it up the floor to Edwards. Edwards has got Dobbins on him. Bachelor Clawson inside to Kidder. Kidder up and in. That draws the deficit with back within four. Here comes uh, Dobbins on a three ball on the other end, and he sinks it. Edwards on the other end. Oh, and the ball is taken. Oh, and we've got 2v1 on the other end. It's Dobbins, it's Bassler. And Dobbins gets the gets the foul, but doesn't get the shot to roll in. I mean, and that's, I don't really see where the foul came in yeah. on Bo there. I think that's Bo's fourth pers third personal, yes. Bo has not really done, Bo didn't really do anything. He kind of went straight up. Yeah, he I guess he kind of went down. I don't, I don't know. He I didn't don't. even jump. He just kind of stood straight up. I'm not the best at foul calls. To be fair, the same thing happened to Baker a couple weeks ago. Yeah. I'm not I'm not the best at foul calls, so I, I try to stay out of it. So but you've you've played basketball more than I have and you've seen more of that than I have, so I mean I don't really saw, saw where the I didn't see where the foul yeah, was. Yeah, I mean I like I said, you you I guess they were closer more. they were closer to Bo than I was. Yeah. And a almost still there. There's oh, steal, a steal there, excuse me. Clawson tried the same thing, it didn't work. And they lay it in. Oh, and a steal. Oh, here we go. And lays it in in a timeout. And the Mountain Pine fans are getting rowdy. We'll take a break here as Coach Will calls a timeout. We'll be right back here after this full timeout by Coach Will.
Panthers inbound the ball here as they are down here at Panther Gymnasium, 45 to 33. Get it inside to Kidder. Kidder goes up and shot no good, but Tony who has checked in gets the rebound. Bassler for three, no good. Oh, and here comes Isaiah Miles on the other end and he lays it in. Panthers Bo have got to find something offensively. Bo is slowing the offense down a little bit. They get it, oh, and a steal. They heave it up the floor. Miles. Dobbins shot no good. Took a minute to blow a whistle. The guy sitting down there on the ground. Yeah, in the middle of Miles, all and he wanted a foul call. Um. Uh, we'll have to see how they sort this out. They want the sub to come in for Magnet as Kaiser checks out. Okay, and it's just going to be Mountain Pine basketball. Dobbins on the baseline to inbound. He's going to inbound it to Miles. Miles. Oh! Is absolutely sent into next week by Baker. That's what I'm talking about. Kicks it out. Tony for three. And just off the mark, man. We got a foul call, and that's going to be on Clawson. And here's Mountain Pine, deep three, Isaiah Miles, no good. Tony comes away with the rebound. Gonna get it up the floor to Bachelor as he brings it across the timeline. Heaves it across the floor for Reynolds. Reynolds, Clawson, three ball, and good! Jacob draws it within 11. 112 and counting left to go in the third. And the Mountain Pine coach is irritated, it seems to be. He's yelling out a play, and they are apparently not listening. A shot up, no good there, but gets his own rebound and gets the foul call. And that's going to be on Carson Reynolds. It's going to be... That's going to be number uh, 23 that's going to the line. First shot is up and is no good right there. That is Zion Wyatt that's going to the strife right here. Baker's going to check out. Kaiser can check back in. Second shot, no good. Clawson comes away with it. Panthers looking to find some offense here in the last 45 seconds of the third quarter. Gonna kick it across court to Tony. Tony thought about pulling the deep one. I got 10 seconds on the shot clock. Gotta make something happen. Bassler gonna drive, gonna kick it out. Got five seconds. Reynolds got a uh, ball swatted away from him. And there's a double dribble call. And 19 seconds for Magnet, down 11. <laughs> and so here's Magnet with 15 seconds left. Got time for another possession. Clawson, three ball, and just off the mark there. Kaiser's there, no, Reynolds is there with the rebound. Oh, and he threw it to the wrong guy. And the shot is no good and no foul call. So going into the fourth quarter, it's Mountain Pine 47, Magnet 36. We'll be right back with the last quarter of action after this break. 
All right, well, we got eight more minutes of scheduled action, I shall say, since we have had a double overtime game tonight. So we got eight more minutes here in the fourth quarter. Uh, it's going to be Bassler to inbound it right here. Looks like he's going to inbound it to Colossen. So here comes the Panthers. Got to find offense here down 11. Clawson thought about the three a couple times. Pull up jumper, no good there. Kaiser gets stripped of the ball there, but it's gonna be off of a Mountain Pine defender, and so it will stay Magnet Cove possession. They inbounded into Batchelor on the three-point line. Looking for somewhere to go. Inside to Kaiser, Kaiser and Baker both in. Oh, Bo, what a move. Shot no good there as Kaiser comes away with it. That's a fresh shot clock for the Panthers. They get it inside. Oh! And that's going to be on the defense there. And the first shot is up and is no good by Baker. That is number 32's fourth personal. He's gonna have to come out. Number 34 is gonna check in here for him with 7.20 left to go in the game. Uh, that is number 34 checking in right there. That is Gilchrist. And the second shot is good to draw the deficit within 10. Oh, uh, Baker, Baker on Dobbins. Oh, what, what a, a move. Layup. Inside on Baker. Don't know if they'll call it. Yep, they'll call it on Baker. Baker accidentally came down on Gilchrist. The good sportsmanship shown there by Baker. Having Baker in front of you when they inbound the ball is like having like a mountain in your way. Yeah. And he's like he's got his wingspan out, so it's even worse. Baker's so tall you can't see over him. Can't pass it over him either. And we have a traveling violation. Well, if you try to throw it over Baker, it hits the bottom of the backboard. If you <laughs> yeah. throw it under, it's gonna get stolen. You can't throw it around him because he'll just smack it with his wingspan. So I don't know what you're gonna do. Yeah, I don't know either. We'll have to see how they how they can do that. So we'll have to see. And we have got a I can't hear anything by the way. We have oh there it is. Okay. Yeah. So we have some audio difficulties. I don't know if it was on y'all's end or I am not sure, but we got a fish right there. And it looks like Kidder is gonna take a seat here. Tony's going to check in. Number 10, the sophomore. All right, I'll let you know. Uh, oh, and the ball's deflected there by Dobbins as Bo was trying to get it to Baker. Baker. 
6.45 and counting left to go. Panthers down 10, got to find some offense. Bo thought about the deep elbow three. He's going to drive this time. He's going to go up. Shot no good there. Tony comes around with it. Clawson top of the key three and good. Clawson gets the feet set at the top of the key right there and draws the deficit to seven. Clawson with a major three right there. They needed that. And that's going to be a turnover right there. And we've got a timeout here at Panther Gymnasium. We'll also take a quick timeout here on the Manicope High School East YouTube page. We'll be right back with more Panther basketball from Panther Gymnasium. to Panther Gymnasium here as Clawson inbounds it down seven with six twenty and counting left to go in this game. Clawson gets it over to Bassler. Carson Reynolds for three and off the back of the off the side of the iron. Check. All right, everyone, we got some subs coming in. It looks like Reynolds and Tony are going to check out, and then comes Kaiser Kidder and Alex Edwards, two seniors more experience on the floor here. We've got th uh, four seniors and a sophomore. That just shows the talent that Bachelor has being a sophomore on the floor with four seniors right now. Dobbins goes up, shot no good, and Baker comes away with it. Bo up and in on the other end. Very crafty move right there by Bachelor. And that right there is an laying on the other end right there, and that's going to put the deficit back out to seven. Panthers have got to get a defensive stop and just draw that deficit more closer than seven. Clawson here on the other end, looking for somewhere. Got Baker on the wing as a trying to get it out somewhere. They're looking to go inside. Edwards, I got oh, 10 seconds of counting left to go on the shot clock. Got to find some inside to Kidder. Kidder goes up. He's blocked. And shot no good there. And that is going to be Magnet Co. basketball with 5.05 left to go in this game. Lawson, the inbounds man on the baseline. They inbound it to Edwards. Edwards has it stolen. Dobbins, let's and see if he, he can dunk. Have a wide open. And he just, oh, he misses the layup. He misses the layup. He's laughing. That, about oh, it too. that hurts, bro. He knows that he did. He just missed a wide open layup. He oh, laughed about it, too. And the coach is not happy. He is kicking himself. Oh. Wow. Oh, That's man. That's like the two wide open passes that they don't catch. Well, see, the problem is. When you have that right wide open. Oh, now Isaiah Miles on the other end, and he makes that one just barely. And here comes the Panthers on the other end. Down uh, nine now, and we have a timeout. We will also take a quick timeout here with 425 left to go in the action.
everyone. Welcome back to Panther Gymnasium. All right, here, and we're going to have a Magnet Co possession here by the scores table. Okay, okay. Clawson's going to inbound it. Up to Baker, Baker up and in. That is what we need Caden Baker for, his senior campaign. Here comes Mountain Pine on the other end. It's Dobbins. Dobbins goes up and gets the bucket. J uh, not J.K. Dobbins. Keelan, Keelan Dobbins. And he converts the three-point play. Panthers down 10 now. Got to find something offensively. Clawson going to drive, now going to kick it. Looking for somewhere to go. Got to find something to get across court to Clawson again. Panthers have got to find something. Got 10 seconds on the shot clock. Deep three and no good there. Just off the mark for Clawson. They get it back. Looking for somewhere to go. Crafty stuff there, but just a walk. didn't he work. Close. A walk there. Ooh, Clawson crossing them over. Going to take it all the way. Lays it up and ooh. Go and Bo gets the foul call right there. So that's going to be on number 34 for Mountain Pine. That is his fourth personal foul. And he gets the first one. Mountain Pine here on the other end, trying to set it up. See what they can do. This game has got to have a drastic turn. 2.50 left to go in this game. Panthers down 10. Nine, excuse me there. I bet they lay it in and that's 11. Bo thought about the three and they traveled. And now the lead is 11, Mountain Pine up. And now the Panthers are gonna have to have something miraculous happen. I kick it. Trying to find something, gonna drive, pull up shot. The hesitation that they yeah. have just kills Magnet every time. Yeah. That miss there was by Isaiah Miles, number one. Tony thought about the three, not gonna drive, not gonna dish it to Kaiser. Kaiser up and in. Count the basket. If Man, it would be a crazy two minutes if the Panthers got this one back. We've done this before. Four. Oh my like, goodness! I don't know if I can take it. I don't know. Overtime game. Hey, I, I will if the Panthers win it. I won't make it though. Another overtime game. I'll say it like that. <laughs> and Kaiser's shot is no good. And that is going to be off of <coughs> And that that is going to be another Mountain Pine possession. <laughs> and 
And is that Bo's fifth personal? <coughs> yes, it is. And the only sophomore that, that, that plays multiple minutes is, is uh, him and Tony. Him and Tony, yeah. And it almost sees we have a uh, Mountain Pine player going to the locker room. It looks like there was something between him and the coach down there when he came off the court. It's number one, Isaiah Miles. Panthers going to have to have something big here down nine. Three threes or something of that nature. What a cut and a foul there by... Kaiser. That is number 24, it looks to be going, no, excuse me, not 24. That 34 and the shot's no good there. And Kaiser comes away with the rebound. Boston on the other end, got to have something. Dishes it to Baker. Baker goes up and in and gets the foul call. And Hunter Browning is going to check in here. And it looks like Tony and Reynolds are going to check out. And in comes Hunter Browning, another sophomore. And... Uh, Alex Edwards, a senior. See if Baker can convert the three-point play to draw it within six, and he does. And the Panthers have life here down six with a minute 15 left. Still need some stuff to fall their way. And we have a timeout on the floor to avoid the five-second call. But uh, we'll take a quick timeout here on the Manicope High School East YouTube page. And it's a full timeout, so it'll be a quick break here on Manic Hope High School East YouTube page. We'll be right back with more Panther basketball from Panther Gymnasium. Everyone back to Panther Gymnasium. Excuse me for the giggles. There was a joke during the break. But, uh, oh, and he stepped on the line. And that's going to be a turnover. Give the Panthers the basketball. Jaminy Christmas. I can't do another one, boys. All right. Well, Hunter Brown is going to check out. Carson Reynolds is going to check in. Panthers down six here with 1.15 left to go in the game. They need to tie it up. Cross it for three. And good! The Panthers draw within three with 1.06 left to go in the game. Wow. Uh, we got a timeout. What about that, Aiden? Getting it into Clawson to shooting the three. I mean, incredible. There's a minute six, two possessions. If you run the entire shot clock out, all Mountain Pine has to do, really, is score any points at all. Yeah. If they come away with none and we shoot a three. Jamming it Christmas. I don't know if I can do another overtime I game. I know. Like I said. If we do another overtime game, I won't make it. I think I, I can make it. I barely got enough oxygen in my head right now. Dude, that, that double overtime game about did me in.
Yeah, okay. All right, well, everyone, we got a minute six left to go, and the Panthers are going to apply a full court press, see if they can't get a five-second call. We shall see. Hunter Browning checks in. Dobbins. Oh, and it's an almost steal. Dobbins gets the bucket and the foul. Yeah, that foul's on Baker. And that could end it for Magnet. I mean, they're only down five with 57 left, 58 seconds left basically. They really could still come back in this game. Shot no good. Clawson going to bring it up the floor. He's got to do something here. Get it to Edwards, back to Clawson. Clawson thought about the three, now to Reynolds. Reynolds, three more needs to go in. No good. We have a foul on the floor. Baker's asking. He wants free throws. Yeah. He's going to get them, I think. I yeah. think he is. Yeah, he is. All right, well, Baker's got one and one. One and one. In the one and one. Is it not? Yeah, it is one and one. Got to make the first one to get the second one. Kaiser is going to check in. Needs to make these. These are crucial. First one is up and is good. So he makes this one. It draws it within a three-point game, okay? So there is a... It's 50-50 right now. Yeah, well, if he makes this one, there is like an 11.4 second differential between the shot clock and play clock. Shot clock, and play clock. I did it again. Shot clock and game clock. Panthers have got to get a five-second or something right here. Oh, what a heave. Oh, Jaminé, Christmas. And that is going to be close to it here for the Panthers. Not exactly. Five points in 38 seconds. And they called a travel on Jacob. Wait, they just teed up somebody. They Did they just tee up Caden? They just teed up Caden Baker. Dobbins misses that one off the side of the iron. He misses that one too. Did he miss all three of those? Yeah, it's two shots and ball, okay. All right, unsure what they teed him up for. I'll go back and watch that one on film tonight when I get home. It's not live. You can't do that. I already tried that. And a foul there by Browning, and that's going to put Mountain Pine at the line for two shots. Here's Walker from the line. The first one is good. It rattles in, and that gets the deficit to six for the Panthers, and it's going to be hard for them to come back. He makes that one, too. Got to have something. And a steal. And that right there is going to seal it.
Panthers were able to draw close and even take the lead, but in the end, it's gonna look like the Mountain Pine Red Devils are gonna win this one. 23.7 seconds left to go, down seven of the Panthers. Now, still down seven, they have got to have a quick three. They've got to get a shot off three ball by Glossin and good. But the still clock down, still's still gonna down run. By four. No matter what, they cannot come back, even if they get the full Oh score. my Jesus, a heave down the floor and lays it in, and that's gonna be it here at Panther Gymnasium. And the Mountain Pine fans are being Mountain Pine fans. Excuse me there, we do have some people coming onto the court here, so we're gonna cut this one here at Panther Gymnasium. We'll be right back. We'll be back with another live stream uh, soon. Don't know the exact date, but uh, we'll be back with more live streams here and uh, a good game for the Panthers, but uh, couldn't come out on top. Thank you for watching. <laughs>